Alright, so they revealed some new cards today from their new set that's coming soon. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go about one by one on this. So Houndmaster Shaw, this was the, f the Hunter Legendary. Hunter has usually gotten bad legendaries like every set. Hunter always gets a bad legendary, it's kind of like a meme. I mean, it's four, four mana, six, only a six, uh, well, a six health, so it's kind of okay. Uh, um, if this leaves, it, it is pretty dangerous. Rush mechanic, just to like kind of recap, and some of you might not know, what Rush does is it gives a minion basically charge, with the exception that uh, the minion cannot go face. I think that's a good card, like this is super dangerous, if that leaves, like the minions, the hunter gets to pick the trade. And you gotta remember that uh, there's like Kindly Grandmother, that type of cards that can attack twice. So if you play a Kindly Grandmother, you can attack with the one one that has charge, and then you can attack with this other thing that also has charge. And if you play like Crackling Razor Maw, you can make some like, ooh, like some effects, and that one can also attack, and like the poisonous and everything, it's just uh when this hits the board, it's kind of like one of those minions that you oftentimes you have to kill. And I don't know if you want to, but... Hunter, Hunter that plays minions like this does have some other problems. So I don't know if Hunt, if this is like good in Hunter, but the card itself is really powerful. Does it help Hunter enough? I'm not sure. But it, it, is, it is strong, it is strong, but can Hunter support it? I don't know. Rotten Applebaum. Uh, 5 mana, 4, 5. Restore 4 health to hero. Taunt. I think that's a pretty good anti-acro card, honestly. Because it has taunt, so it kind of heals you for 5 while killing some of the attackers. And uh, and it also he he heals you for 4, so it's kind of like 9 healing overall. If you if you Everyone get what I mean. Thanks for the sub. Flame Mikey, welcome to the channel. Um, it's kind of like 9 healing, you know. And turn 6 is oftentimes a turn where you AOE with like, light bombs and all that stuff. Well, not light bomb, dragon fire potion. Uh, so this kind of like helps you get to the dragon fire. So this breaches the mid game into the AOE. If you're running a, a more expensive AOE, I, I do think this like for a, for a neutral common, this is uh, this is pretty good. I don't think it's anything like crazy. Like oh my god, like the next sludge belcher. Yeah, no, it's not the next sludge belcher. It's not as good as sludge belcher, but uh, it could find its place in some decks. Dragonfire rotates out, yeah, but maybe there's new healing, uh, new AOE, I mean. Or even if, if even if Psychic Scream, the Dragonfire, that wasn't important, it was just an example, guys, it was just an example. They said Echo Cards don't disappear at end of turn. Yeah, so I, I do think that might find its place in some play, some decks. In like, in control decks, helping you get to late game. You have your early game, and then like, this is like the in between. So, if you are, man, if you are dying before... Before uh, you get to your AOE, this is this might be a card you want to take in. Next, Witchwood Apple, two mana, add three two two three ants in your hand. I believe three ants are one mana two twos. So what the deck would want to play is like token, some kind of buff buff thing. But the thing is that the turn you play this, you lose tempo. Then you will have like one mana two twos that are like kind of strong. But I don't think this is a good card. I think this is pretty bad. Um, Without buff synergy, it's it's like five mana total for a six six stats. So it's kind of like force of nature. If you already have five mana, you play it immediately. Oh, there are two mana two two. Are you serious? But then it's unplayable. Unplayable. Just well, let's move on. That's horrible. Oh my god, don't play that shit. Why did they even show? They shouldn't have shown this if it's so bad. Wow, horrible. Whispering woods. Okay. So many one one whisper each card in your hand. Um, I mean wisps are nothing crazy, but if you have synergies for this, it could be good. Like soul of the fo <laughs> soul of the forest. This is a little bit hard to pull off. Buffs. Well, obviously you want to buff them because otherwise they just die. So you have to have more mana. You need to have buffs for it. Four mana. <laughs> yeah, it's not call to arms, guys. You need to have like lots of uh, lots of cards, and then you need to buff them. I don't know. It's like it's a weird card. Probably not good, but it's mildly interesting. Repuke. Alright, well, I don't know how do you pronounce that. Two mana, enemy spells cost five more next turn. So that's basically low tap. That's a low tap card. Like low tap battle cry, that's what it does. Exactly the same as low tap battle cry. That's. I don't know if it's good, but this is the type of cards that I personally like. This is what I want. I want more of more repukes and that, this type of things. Because you, you need to, like, uh. You need to be smart when you when you play this, right? Or it's weak. 
Uh, this is another card that you just play when you have two mana. Like this is a like a more like thinking card. It might be bad. Like uh, this might be bad, but the type of effect that it does. So you need to time this well. Uh, let's say you're playing uh, you're playing like aggro. Most most of the time you probably play this in aggro deck, maybe like just one of. And uh, your opponent is about to hit like seven mana or whatever the A A O E turn is. So what you do with this is you block board clear. You pl you have your Murlocs and then you play this, so you your board can't be cleared. You know that next turn your board will not be cleared. Or if you're playing as Control, you can like delay. Uh, let's say you can delay a Mage Quest by a turn to get an extra turn. You pop the Ice Block and uh, play two of these. Then they, <laughs> they have spells because then more they can't play a new Ice Block. Lul. Uh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, timing is key with this. You need to know when you when you play it. Although it might be bad. Oh, Ice Block Hall of Fame. Well, that's true. I don't know. Maybe this won't see play, but I still like the design on it. So, it's it's awesome that they are making this type of cards. I'm a little sad that it's kind of like a only for Paladin. I hope every class gets something like this. Uh, Vivid Nightmare. Three mana. Choose a friendly minion. Summon a copy of it with one health remaining. So, with one health remaining, obviously that would die easily. So you want to like heal it up. Or you want to copy a death rattle maybe. So you don't care as much if it dies again. Because with one health it will die again quickly. Unless you do something. You need to already have a minion on the board. Maybe if you play a death rattle, uh, you play a like, quest priest. Uh, more weasels. Yeah, more weasels. Leroy combo. Okay, okay. You could play it with Leroy. That's true. I mean, I guess you could do it with Velen. But with Velen you can already like, you can use the... Mirage color and nobody's doing that, so I don't imagine that this would like get there. And you have no mana afterwards. Uh, I don't think uh, this is nothing mind blowing to me right now, at least. It might be okay, but it, it it doesn't stand out. It's not very interesting considering we already have Mirage color. It's kind of like nothing new in a way because of Mirage color and that. Like, there's been like so many. Like, there's been other priest cards already kind of like this. You could use this in a corrupted heal, but I think I guess maybe it's an extra way to make it make one of those. Okay, clean the crow skin. Six mana, three seven minions in your hand have echo. Okay, so six mana. What does that mean? That means that you, if you play this at ten mana, you have four remaining. So if you want to pull some kind of combo, off, you only have four mana to do it, or you need to get this to survive a turn. How do you make this survive a turn? I guess you can't. Unless you're playing a matchup where they already you you kind of won if it's like aggro and you clear the board, um, molten giant. <laughs> okay, you could do that. You could play molten giants, but it's uh, it's rotating the wild. Maybe that's why they rotated it to wild. I mean they they like buffed it right, but and rotated it. Okay, um, so you can do that. Some kind of giant. Sea giant. Zero mana sea giant. Weasels. Four weasels. Summoning portals. With summoning portal. Okay, I guess that's it. That's it, guys. We gotta do it with summoning portals. Arcane giants. Um, I think with, with Warlock it's too hard to get the arcane giants cheap. Okay, so but what you what you can do, you can play like Meat Wagon and you can get... Because you can get a, like a summoning portal to stick sometimes. This would be insane if you have summoning portal survive because you can play a six mana glinda and then you can if you play a three three mana card for one mana you can play like a, a tree drop uh like five times or something okay portal is rotating out no it's not portal is in the basic set this is insane with portal i'm gonna make some meme decks out of that for sure like you play five stone hills you, you have a like a, you play this for four mana and then you play five stone hills or whatever you could you could play some maybe there's some charger or death rattle with like damage or I don't know I need to think about this a little more. Echo means that you can play the same minion multiple times. So let's say you have a leper gnome. You you have cleaned down the board. You, your leper gnome has echo. You can play the leper gnome ten times. I mean you could you you can't actually because you don't have board space but you can play it multiple times. Gnome Feratu, yeah you could play gnome Feratu. Zola, you could Zola this or whatever, Zola lots of things. But the summoning portal seems to be what you kind of like need. But there, there could be some like cool decks. I'm, I think uh, I'll be maybe able to make some uh, some uh, YouTube videos out of uh, summoning portal cleaned. Uh, three mana nightmare uh, Amalgam. This is an elemental mech demon 
Murloc, Dragon, Beast, Pirate, and Totem. Okay, this is very confusing. <laughs> it dies to all the, all the crabs. It dies to Hungry Crab, it dies to Golaka Crawler, it dies to the... What's the Dragon Killer? You know, the Dragon, dragon Slayer. So all the hate cards are killed this. But it could, uh, it could help with like something like Elemental, for example. Elementals uh, in some decks could use uh, another one, I guess, if you're doing some kind of Elemental strategy. I'm trying to think if you could play this in like Paladin or so. If you're playing like Curator, well, Curator rotates out though. Oh, this would have been so nice with Curator. It actually would have been very weird with Curator. But you would always pull this with Curator. Very strong in Murloc Pally. Uh, could be. Neutral totem. Yeah, the totem synergy is kind of nice actually for uh, for shaman, right? Because you get discounts on your uh, on your thing from below. Uh, I don't know. It's so hard to think. It, at the end of the day, it's only a three, uh, three mana three four guys, which is kind of strong, but it doesn't it doesn't ha have an ability like besides that. So it's nothing too crazy at least, but it it could be like strong in some decks. I, I don't know. I, another one that I need to just think about a little more. That's good, like, whenever I feel, like, when I look at a card and I, I feel like I need to think about the card more, then they have succeeded in, in my books, like, this is, this is good. I like, I like, I like the, the thing that it's kind of like, go, could go to many places but might not go anywhere. A spider thing, sort of. If you silence, does it still count for all the tribes? Uh, that's, uh, is that like different font that they used here? No, it should. It stays all. It stays all. It's the uh, it's the bottom deck that says all. Those never like. If you silence a beast, it stays beast. If you silence this, it stays all. You can't silence the ability. I was just like the silence removes the text, but it, the, this text I believe is just to like uh, clarify what all means, and it's not an actual like ability text. Is this the first time ever that there is like an ability, a non-ability text? You can you don't silence the bottom tag. You don't silence that. You can't silence the tribe. What silence does is it draws the red cross on any text that's on the card and that text like disappears. But it, this still stays elemental mechanism. Okay, enough about this. It, you can't silence it. That's it. <laughs> Alright, which is apprentice? One mana zero one taunt. <laughs> also a beast. Well, okay, it's like it's a it's a, the frog from the hex, right? It's like it's a frog. Add a random shaman spell to your hand. Uh, I don't think this is very good. Um, you need to remember that there's a lot of bad shaman spells. There's a lot of them. Like let's look. Let's look at the shaman spells, guys. Shaman has like rune spear sucks, but it's not because rune spear sucks because of what it does. Otherwise, but it sucks because shaman spells. This this. You don't. You don't. Want, don't they make my it? Like, no, well, Urchok can be okay, like, for like, Primal, like, the, like, sometimes you can get, like, you can even get Unite, no, you, I don't think you can actually get this, but anyway, Kryostasis, and even this, like, overloads you so much, you, if you don't can't unlock it, Ice Fishing, and you might not have Murlocs in your deck, there, there, there's just, there's so many, like, in the situational, bad, like, situational, like, very situation. There's so many bad ones. That's the point. Yura, thank you for the 1000 year. I love the fact that you already think about meme decks. I'm hyped. Yeah, it's always nice to get new cards. The game just like feels so much. It's like so much more fun whenever there's new cards. Okay, let's go back to the cards now. But yeah, I don't think that's, that's very good. Hakata might be though, because like you can get lots of uh, things like this is so much value, right? You get so many of them. So Bahagata is the new Death Knight, or not Death Knight, excuse me. It is not a Death Knight, but it is a hero card. Gotta set that straight. Paddle Cry, deal 3 damage to all minions. So that's a Dusk Breaker, effectively. 8 mana Dusk Breaker, lul. No, but the, the power is in this. So whenever you play a minion, add a random shaman spell to your hand. And it keeps like a... It's kind of like keeps happening, you know. You, just, you get a lot of... You get a lot of stuff if you play a lot of minions. Yeah, you need to have those minions, like, what do you... And it's not summon a minion, it says play a minion, so you can't, like... You can't do... Wait, actually... Yeah, yeah, you can't do this. This would summon four one ones. But it says... 
after you play, so you don't you don't play those minions, you summon them, so you, you don't get four cards from that. So if you you can't like go infinite. It is a value card, like that's all it is. Like so, it, it supports control style. I like what the, what it's kind of like doing. The type of decks are are my type of decks, but I'm 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 not convinced how how strong this is still. Because you wanna play like if you play a control shaman, you usually want it to be low on minions. You wanna have like more spell focus and just play a, like few good minions most of the time. I think it works kind of okay with like Stonehill, because Stonehill is is multiple minions. You play a multiple minions, so it's like grindy control stuff. But that type of decks have usually not worked out very well. That type of decks in 2018 Hearthstone are just not very good. Where you like value grind, you know, like value value games where you go for value strategies such as this, with like un unreliable win condition from random cards is just. I think I'll have fun with this. I'll have fun with this, but I don't think it's gonna be a tournament card. Which is probably good, because, like, whenever there's the word random, that's probably not something you want in a, in tournaments. I wouldn't dust it, though. You probably wouldn't have fun with it. Should be fun.